Well, we have less than three hours before the finance minister talks about the union budget. So all eyes are going to be on that. But in the interim, we also have a market to trade, right? So our research team is standing by with CNBC TV 18's list of top stocks for the day. Let's take it straight to Abhishek to talk about Federal Bank, which will be the big mover today, and Jana Small Finance Bank as well. Abhishek, over to you. Uh, well, to begin with Federal Bank, RBI has approved the appointment of Mr. KVS Manian, ex, uh, you know, Kochak Bank uh, Deputy MD, as the MD and CEO of the bank. Now, this is with effect from 23rd September uh, 2024. So, Mr. Sham Srinivasan's last working day uh, will be on 22nd September uh, 2024. CNBC TV18 uh, exclusive have been confirmed. So, CNBC TV18 was the only channel to mention that KVS Manian is the external candidate whose name has has been sent to RBI uh, from Federal Bank. Now, remember that we reported on 15th of February 2024 as KVS Manian being one of the candidates uh, for the post of MD and CEO at uh, Federal Bank. And then again, uh, we did report in June 2024 that he is the only external candidate whose name has been sent to RBI for approval and that news has come true. With respect to Jenna Small Finance Bank, asset quality has deteriorated massively. Uh, remember that we did alert our viewers that microfinance or rural segment is in pain and asset quality deterioration is seen over there. So uh, if you take a look, gross NPA in absolute value has increased 30.5% uh, on a sequential basis. Net NPA has increased by 85% on a sequential basis. So gross NPA ratio is at 2.62 versus 2.1% in the previous quarter. Net NPA ratio is close to 1% versus 0.56% in the previous quarter. Even then PCR has dropped, that is provisional coverage ratio has dropped to 62. percent versus 73.7% in the previous quarter. So expect the stock to be read in trade today. All right, uh, Abhishek, thank yeah. you very much so uh, for that. It's just like credit access. Yeah, the credit access was a disappointment yeah. yesterday, yeah. absolutely. Well, uh, you know, IT is doing no better, actually. I mean, CoForge, I think, is a bit of a disappointment. Zensar Tech margins have uh, come under some pressure. Rima is going to detail both those out for us. Rima. So for Zensar, the growth is very strong. Uh, constant currency revenue growth of 4.3%, but margins for the company have been impacted due to a bankruptcy of a client. So margins have come down to 15.2%, putting some pressure on the company's profitability. The other stock that we're looking at is CoForge, where the revenue growth is 1.8%, but margins for the company have come down because the company has spent nearly 80 crore uh, related to legal and professional fees for the Signity acquisition. So that's put pressure on the company's margins and profits but if you strip that out adjusted margins are largely in line okay got that uh, Rima okay Vivek uh, you're tracking Suzlon's numbers and uh, signed DLM that's right, ma'am. Good morning. Uh, so, Suzlon, you know, very good set of numbers from the company. You know, even the execution has improved this time around. Strong Q1, order book is quite healthy. And along with that, the wind turbine generation business, that EBIT margin has improved significantly, both sequentially as well as on a year-on-year -year basis. Revenues higher by almost 50% on a year-on-year -year basis. EBITDA up 80%. EBITDA margins are improving by 300 basis points, coming in at 18.4%. And profitability is higher by almost three times when you're comparing it on a year-on-year -year basis. Uh, the wind turbine generation EBIT margin has come in at 8.3 percent versus 4.3 percent sequentially and when you're talking about the order book order book stands quite healthy at 3.8 gigawatt now talking about cyan dlm you know it's a largely inline set of numbers with what the poll was anticipating revenue is higher by 19 percent ebitda margin at 7.8 percent it's moderated on a year on year basis but uh, slightly better than what the poll was anticipating profitability almost doubling again on a year on year basis order book however has softened both sequentially and on a year on year basis at 2120 26 crore. Expect green on both of these stocks. Okay, oh. thanks a lot for that. But MRPL, the reported numbers look really good. Sonal is here to tell us uh, about that. Oh, actually, in fact, it's the other way around. I think the numbers have fallen compared to what we've seen in Q4. Uh, so, Sonal, over to you. Also, you're going to talk about allied blenders. Good morning, Sonia. Well, yes, MRPL, we've been talking about how refining margins have fallen, spreads across products have come down, and that is something you can see in MRPL's numbers as well. Revenue down 8%, EBITDA is down 74%, margins have contracted by 700 basis points, leading to a profit contraction of 94%. GRMs, they have come down to 47 
$11 per barrel versus record high levels that we saw in the quarter gone by at $11.4 per barrel. For Allied Blenders, this is the first results they have reported after listing. So these are quarter four numbers. Margin improvement is the key positive this time around. Higher finance cost is something which has widened losses. Watching out for the debt number, 720 crore rupees has been paid via the IPO proceeds. Now revenues, they are absolutely flat, but EBITDA is up 20.5%. Margins have improved by 120 basis points. Uh, finance costs are up 22% and that has led to losses coming at 2.4 crore rupees. But that stock will be on our radar on the back of quarter four numbers this time. Okay. All right. Uh, <clears throat> Sonal, thank you very much uh, for that. Uh, so that's Allied Blenders for you. Some orders coming through for two companies, G Power and Railtel. Vivek has got, got details on those two. Vivek, morning. That's right. So post-market as both of these companies announcing order wins. G Power has actually received an order of almost 348 crore. Now, this particular order is for renovation and modernization of steam turbine engines. This is for an NTPC GE JV project, which is being uh, executed at Vidyanchal. So, 348 crore is the total value of this particular order. Railtel is the other stock on the radar. The company has received an order of almost 187 crore from the Ministry of Railways. The uh, execution time period is four years, and this particular order is for the design and development of HMIS, which is Health Management Information System, and also a hospital referral portal. Expect some green on both of these names as well. Oh, yes. Uh, gains, you're right, uh, uh, Vivek. You know, Railtel has risen 237% in the past one year. I'm giving you your YOY by numbers. And GE Power, the other stock Vivek mentioned, has risen 200%. Oh. So, well, uh, you know, these are uh, things to remember. When we say good news, we mean the news is good. But let's see what happens. <laughs> okay, 